Hello, I am that guy. Greenblood Extra, guys. And we are here to discuss anime news. A quick little thing here. Um, we are missing two people. Chevy had to leave, and Black Star does not feel well. So you're stuck with us. Yeah. Um, and I'm Nico, the camera person, as usual. So we will bring you some, uh, some interesting anime talk and everything. Uh, first, though, let's show this Vanguard people. Rejoice. We have an actual binder of some sort. See? Cool. And then, oh, there you go. Yeah, let's draw you and hold it for a second. <laughs> the back view, and then, of course, the front view has three head uh, guys, pretty much. Kai, Aichi, and uh, Rinzo Sukumori. Yep, had to show that off. Okay, so we are getting, uh, we're just a little disorganized today, kind of like, so, um, so forgive us, so. What is the first on our agenda, guys? Uh, we are going to be talking about what we have been watching lately. Uh, me, personally, I've been catching up on Dragon Ball. I mean, obviously everyone's seen it, but I missed season 7 and 8, so I had to catch up on that. And right, and I also watched the two new movies, uh, Battle of the Gods and the uh, Revival of. And now I'm catching up on Bleach. I didn't see that. Revival of. It's great. I don't really get it though. You mean you don't get it? I don't know. Frieza comes back just to pretend to get a Super Saiyan mode. No, Frieza comes back for revenge. He comes back for revenge, but think about it. His new form is pretty much just a Freeze version of a Super Saiyan. <laughs> His ultimate final form. But uh, yeah, he was no match for Super Saiyan God. Yeah, today. Well, he was a match, it was just the fact yeah, that. Yeah, it was. They were playing around, dude. No, they were. No, he was actually messing Goku up. No, it wasn't. The only reason he was acting all cocky and stuff was because of Frieza just now obtaining the form. They could tell. They could tell he had just obtained the form and came rushing to Earth for revenge. He's incredibly powerful. It was just the fact that. Dude, they were trained by. Uh, Celeste. You mean Weiss? Weiss. Weiss. They were trained by Weiss. I mean, Even still. Yeah, yeah, but remember what Weiss did? Weiss kicked their tails. Weiss is beyond a god. Actually, I think, I think, didn't they say in the first movie that he was like the god of destruction in a different dimension? No, Beerus is the god of destruction. So, uh, in Goku, in that dimension, but Weiss, I think, I think they said, I think he said Weiss is a, is his, the version of himself from a different dimension. Because there's different dimensions, remember? Uh, I think Beer. I think Weiss is stronger than Beer, so at least. Of course he is. Why do you think he was his, Weiss is Beer's teacher? Weiss can go back in time. Weiss can uh, turn back time like two turn back minutes time. for two minutes. Like thirty seconds. No, two minutes. He said so. No, I thought he said thirty seconds. Right. No, he said he could turn back time for two minutes. But anyways, from those movies, what have you been catching up to? Nothing much really, just watching things here and there. I've been playing more video games lately than most. Uh, yeah, I've been doing more anime than I have video games. <laughs> Speaking of which, what is your favorite anime? Yeah, it's actually a hard one. I couldn't really put it down to just one. Well, give a couple then. Do you like what's your, you know, favorite couple or so? Bleach, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Which Yu-Gi-Oh? You gotta be specific now. There are like four or five of them. <laughs> All of them except for Zexor. Yeah, uh, I feel you there. Except I don't know how I feel about Arc, uh, Arc 5. I've not actually seen it. I saw a few episodes. It's actually, it's actually really good. I actually like it. It's huh. coming to, uh, it's coming into English dub. In like a, maybe a month or two. Well, there are a few episodes in English actually already, but it's mostly in Japanese. I was watching. I was watching on YouTube though, so it's kind of hard to get. In the, it's it's really hard to find them, but yes. Yeah, yeah. Aside from that, uh, well, one anime I did start picking up. It's a uh, uh, I forget the Japanese name, but it's basically called Ultimate Otaku Teacher. Really funny about this. He's not really like super old. He's like in his twenties or something, I think. Yeah, it's about this dude who's an ultimate otaku, but he becomes a teacher. Like, and he has something called he he has some kind of these called YD, which is you can only do what you yearn to do. That's really how he lives his life. 
it, it's really funny and comical. Um, you finally got it. I think that was another one I started watching, but I can't remember the name. Yeah, I can't remember the name. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I've been watching. This. But aside from that, the only thing I've really been watching is catching up with uh, Van Oss and his buddies, Markiplier. Mostly YouTube stuff. Uh, yeah. I watched uh, Aaron's girlfriend from Game Grumps. Uh, she has her own channel. Called uh, Kitty Cat Gaming, and uh, they've been playing Funny Pop. Yeah, I'm gonna play. I should play that. Yeah, um, very interesting game. It's like from, it's, it's combining a dating simulator game with uh, Candy Crush. Wait, just wait. I think I know what you're talking about. If you get far enough, you. Uh, that guy. Yeah. He's a body with something in real life, but I have an, I have an issue with him again. Uh, can we talk about it afterwards? Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Because I was just looking for that thing I was telling you about, and, and I see this thing like, oh, God. So he's bothering you again? Yeah, it said he sent me a message on Facebook, and I was like, oh, God, I, I, that's the last thing I need. Shh. He hasn't leave. messaged me. What should we do? Ever alone? since I told him to yeah. bug on. Well, uh, aside from what our camera woman and sorry. that guy are <laughs> chatting with about, I am so sorry, people, but it kind of freaked me out for a second. But uh, yeah, they, uh, you get to uh, the... yeah, and actually, I found uh, actually uh, you also get to date the fairy who helps you out in that game and and the god and the goddess of love and an alien. I think it's all of it, something like that. Yeah, and a, a cat, like, and a cat girl. It's amazing. Yeah, the goddess of love, the, her little helper, all the girls that you get introduced normally, and then a couple of uh, a couple of extra characters. It's amazing. I want to play it. You would. Yeah, I would. They're coming out with a sequel to it, aren't we? Not a sequel, but a spin-off. But anyways, getting off that subject, what do you think about? Are you excited about the new Star Wars movie coming out? A little bit. I mean, I mean, come on, we haven't seen a Star Wars movie in years. Years, years, I know. But like, the one thing I'm excited for is the Deadpool movie. I'm more excited for that than Star Wars. Uh, oh, wait, uh -uh. how are they? How are they even going to do that? Because they take them killed. They killed Deadpool. The, the X Men universe was restarted. 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 X Men Days of Future Past. But that was that was way before Future's Past, though. That was what Days of Future's Past does is it basically resets things from. Mm -hmm. No, that all happened afterwards. It was Origin of Wolverine, and then that all those events happened before. Or happened after he slices dead. Wolverine himself. was not taken hmm. by uh, Colonel Stryker in Days of Future Past. <laughs> Can you make these? <laughs> but he had no mem but he had no memory. Here is your news, so if you would like to read some of it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry about this, uh, everybody. Yeah. Like I said, a little disjointed today. Um, so we have our news, which, by the way, well, comes from uh, the otaku.com. I was freaking out the spirit bomb the whole thing. I don't know if you uh, understand that. Uh, in an interview for the October issue of Intermix magazine, Naruto creator Masashi Kishimoto revealed his next project would most likely be a science fiction work as of writing... As of writing, characters' designs have been complete completed, and he personally hopes this New York this new work will achieve a similar level of popular as level of popularity as Naruto. Over on top, yeah, the one to Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Next, two Iowa men are arrested for having violent intent at the 2015 Pokemon World Championships in Boston. Both were invitees to the competition and weeks before had posted what appeared to be threatening messages towards other competitors on Facebook. Mm, Pokemon that's exciting. Called, that's called having no life and being way too aggressive in card games. Don't Pokemon. do it, people. It, it just ruins the fun for uh, all of us. That'd be a yeah. great episode Pokemon, Pokemon is an anime and everything, so this kind of, is kind of related news. It's just simply in its... Uh, card uh, thing. By the way, Bushy Road World Championships 
It happens for us uh, real close next month. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go. I'm going somewhere else. So, I wish I could go, but I can't, unfortunately. You should so, go to Disneyland. I wish I could go to Disneyland. Disneyland. Disney. Okay, I'll visit um, Disney World, but not Disney Japanese Disney. Uh, uh, Tokyo. Japan. Oh, yeah. Tokyo Disneyland. Oh, my God. They I have a Kingdom Hearts. I want to go so badly. I know I heard. Oh, my God. Oh. They opened it, like, maybe a year ago. That's so awesome. Okay, for those Sorry, of you, people, for any of those of you out there who know about this, um, okay, apparently, uh, this next posting is, G Kids has announced a 2016 theatrical release of Isao Takahata's Only Yesterday, the film's 25th anniversary. A new English track is currently being produced for this run, which is the film's first official release here in North America. Alright, don't plug all the news. Yeah, share it, guys. Okay. We have to use my. Hey, 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 you two are chatting, so. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, that was important, though. One Piece announced the latest film in the franchise. This film will be an add-on to the Sobo and Dress... Dressrosa... Uh, Dressrosa. Dressrosa arcs. Revisiting Luffy's childhood and explaining how Sabo found his way to Dressrosa after his next... Near-death ne experience. Near-death experience. <laughs> All right, here's next. I think he needs to have glasses. I know. I need to clean them, too. That my reading skills are right. very good. <laughs> and it's tiny. Some people, well, some people uh, are better right, at folks, it. For those of you who are diehard Gundam fans, an English trailer has surfaced for Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. The trailer details the story, the characters, and an October 4th, 2015 premiere date. So if any of you are fans of people riding around in gigantic robots just bashing the crap out of others, this is for you. If not, an equally fun thing to watch would be Power Rangers. Oh yes, I love Power Rangers. But that's not anime, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> so would be interesting to see it in anime though. It would be interesting to see it get animated. I don't know if it would be any good, but it might be interesting. So. Novelist and anime screenwriter Toyo Toy To To Ubukata was arrested last week on charges of domestic violence. Ooh, we're getting into the spicy thing. <laughs> the reporter, the report filed, filed states Ubukata's wife contacted police in Awama a day after he struck her doing, during an argument. As of writing, Ubukata denies the charges, saying he did not hit her. I did not hit her. I did not. Do you need to go back to kindergarten and learn how to read? Maybe. <laughs> so his reading out loud skills may not be the greatest thing in the world, but then again, everybody has different strengths. So uh, he's just making people laugh because he cracks me up all the time. I that right, that guy. Okay. <laughs> I have to drink some of my cat. Next one. <laughs> next up is for those of you who are into cosplay. Uh, call it one of the most really? expensive cosplays ever. Japanese distributor Cospa is selling a recreation of Saber's armor, Saber's armor dress from Fate slash Stay Night. This includes corset safety fasteners, a single piece skirt, polyurethane armor replicas, and fully notable gauntlets. Total price: four thousand ninety-eight dollars. And speaking of Fate Save Night, it is now part of White Horse. I just, oh, I want it. I just uh, saw that in uh, a car shop that's local to where I live. So, uh, just thought you guys should know that if you're interested in Speaking that. Speaking of cosplay, I saw one of the best cosplays ever. A couple, a couple of cosplayers over in Japan. I'm guessing it's over in Japan. Uh, one dressed up as Cloud and one dressed up as Zack. Both had a Buster Sword, but they were fully decked out in the uniforms, but it was Tron style. Why should Com wow. Complete with data, complete with data disks and everything, and that was a, it was really cool. Why should we need bleach? They were, they were going to, actually going to do that, but then it was voted against. What about Dragon Ball? Was there any Why Shorts? No, but there's not really a point because they have the, the ca there's no point in putting Dragon Ball in Why Shorts. Yeah, it is, it's an anime. Yeah, but there's, Yeah, but there's, Dragon Ball Z has its own card game, which has been re-released. Yeah, kind of no point. In that aspect, Fine. because Dragon Ball Z um, Attack has on Titan is also part of all Watch Force for the those who are fate, obsessed with it. I guess I'm gonna have to get the Fate Zero deck to start. Out. Yeah, you can go to uh, and get it. I want bleach. 
I want them to. So, uh, what's next? Okay, next up on the list is Afternoon Magazine and Sutomu Nihei have announced that Knights of Sidonia will conclude on September 25th in the November issue. The manga inspired two anime seasons and a, compil and a compilation film. So, for those of you who are fans of Knights of Sidonia, it will be ending. Sorry about that. It's always sad when your favorite anime ends. Oh, yeah. But, 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 yeah, my favorite but, once, it, once it concludes, at least you have something new to look forward to. Yeah, mine's only 39 episodes long. You know, my favorite one is, so yeah. And it has like a couple of OABs or OBAs, whatever the crap they're called. Okie dokie. So, yeah. This one is for Weekly Shonen Sun. Let's see, this is for Shonen fans, which sadly we don't want to get here in America, so if you're watching this, if you want to, if you want to rage, no, we don't. We don't? You Shonen Joe? Yeah, we don't get any shonens anymore. Really? We yeah. used to get promos. Right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, they they uh, know, yeah remember, they stopped uh, printing them here for some reason. I remember getting those and I used to save them and I'd get the promos well, out of them and everything. Well, we don't get any more shonen jumps or shonen uh, beat. What was it? Shonen beat, I guess. Beat or something, yeah. Yeah, I never got that one, but I got shonen jump. But I stopped doing well, yeah, it when they stopped having something I wanted to read. They uh. <laughs> I, I think they actually quit making it in Japan, so we never got it anymore here. That could be. If they stopped doing it in Japan, there's no But for those of you who, I guess, live in Japan or somewhere where you probably get, still get shown and stuff, uh, the editor-in-chief of Weekly Shonen Sunday promised big changes in the magazine's 38th issue. Takanori Ichihara says his plan to do, is to personally oversee the for fostering. Yeah. Sorry, slippery tongue. <laughs> Fostering of new talent and the aiding of veteran writers based on his personal preferences. As such, he has taken full responsibility for the fate of the magazine. So basically, the editor in chief is taking his, he's putting his job on the line and bringing in new talent and old talent to try and make the 38th issue very good for those of you who will get it. Like I said, sadly, we don't want, we no longer get it here. So enjoy. And I'll let this guy take over for a while because I've read quite a few posts now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Studio 4C has announced a deal with Netflix to stream the films Mind Game, Princess Aretta, Genius Party, and Genius Party Beyond beginning September 15th. Yeah, none of those sound like something I'm going to go see. Well, I'm some are. Like Genius Party, maybe. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, forgive him. He's tired. The first in a mysterious series of cross-content projects have gone viral. A Japanese music video was released by... Now We See. Now I See. Now I See. Uh, an art group with no identity and uses videos to explore the meaning of the modern life from a younger generation's perspective, this video is the first of 24 planned works. Okie dokie. Ooh. Nintendo reveals a launch trailer for Pokemon Pokin, for Pokin Tournament in Western Markets, debuting in Japan arcades last month. The series will hit the Wii U worldwide in Spring 2016. I have to get a Wii U now. Calm down now. Calm down. Sorry. Sorry. sorry you, you guys so, don't so, see me, but I'm freaking out because I'm a huge Pokemon yeah, fan, and I was really excited about Pokemon. Woman, because she's, she, she's going a little... She, she's having one of those otaku moments. <laughs> I am a very excitable person. I'm very easily excited. So, yeah, I'm really excited for the Pokemon thing. So, we were told we weren't probably going to get it here in America. Now that we are going to, I'm super excited. Ooh, I'm excited now. <laughs> Anime releases, The Future Diary, Complete Series Blu-ray in English, Sword Art Online, uh, 2, Part 1, DVD Blu-ray, UK release. Um, hey. hey, I'll tell you, The Combat Butler, Season 1, Complete Collection, DVD yeah, okay. Blu-ray, released in Japan. Oh boy. Manga releases, NAIMO. Volume 4, The Korean Evil, Volume 3, Barakama, Volume 6, Batum, Batum, Volume 11, Cage of Eden, Volume 19, Citrus Volume, Volume 4, Citrus, Volume 3, Play, Playlord, Master of Gold, Volume 2, Do Doro Hedoro, Volume 16. Emma, Volume 
Volume 2. Boy Dare, Sora Nijihara, Volume 4. High School DXD, Volume 6. Is it wrong to try to pick up a girl in a dungeon? Volume 2. <laughs> Maximum Ride, Volume 9. Noragami, Stray God. I'm going to interrupt six. right here and say that Maximum Ride is a very good book. I have been reading it. And another one is uh, Daniel X. It was a TV show, but there's also a manga version. Both are really good, so you should check them out. Hule Magi Hamoru Tamora Volume 1. What the heck did you say? Hula Magi Hula Magi Hamoru Tamora. It's hard. <laughs> Rust Blaster Volume 1. Yeah, that's fast. Yay! Double. The Devil is a Part Timer High School Volume 1. I hope that releases an anime soon. Tokyo Gold, Volume 2, Trinity 7, Volume 2, Ultraman, Volume 1, and Witchcraft Works, Volume 6. And then you get... Yep, you're on. And now for the video game releases. Smite, 1, Tales from the Borderland, Episode 4, Escape Plan Bravo, PS4, uh, PS3, Xbox, uh, 1, and 360, and PC. Zombie with an eye, PS4, uh, Xbox One, and PC. Which, by the way, folks, I have seen videos of. It looks like a pretty good game. Just angry that it did not come out for the PS3. Volume on PS4, PC, and Vita. Velocity 2X on Xbox One, PC, and PC. Trying 3, The Artifacts of Power on PC. Wow, De Whoa, Dave. Whoa, Dave. On Wii U and the Flock on PC. So that's what we got there. And unless you want to read out the top ten. <laughs> yeah, no. It's just a bunch of fan art. Um, yeah, so, so the rest of it is uh, all fan. So that is all the news that we have for you right now. Um, we will hopefully have more news for you um, later on. At a uh, later weekend. date. Maybe next week, depending on when our next um, Otaku Insider comes in. That's where we get our news, unless we, you know, get it from somewhere else. <laughs> Which on occasion, I, we do get it from elsewhere, like on YouTube, or the news, or one of these two lovely gentlemen have uh, seen something. And uh, Dragoon has not been here for a while, and that's because he's uh, been working, earning money. So... Way to go. So, yeah. At least I didn't quit my job after finding out what it was. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Anyway, so yes, update for last week, uh, or not last week, week before, though. <laughs> that guy thought he was going to go work for Walmart, but then decided to quit when, he, when they decided to put him as a cart pusher because he thought he couldn't do it. Because he went out. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for today. I'm that guy. Dragoon Blade X here, guys, and we will catch you on the flip side.